All right, welcome to Unwind Plus. My name is Lindsay, thank you for joining. We'll start in a child's pose if you're not already there. Think about reaching the sit bones towards the heels, lengthening through the lower back, forehead to the back of the hands or forehead to the floor. And with the forehead resting on something, we might start to rock the head a little side to side, giving that space between the eyebrows a little massage. And that can be a place you tend to hold tension at times. So this can be very beneficial. Noticing the breath here, taking some bigger breaths in, full, complete exhales out. Welcome everyone. So we do 20 minutes of stretch, stay there in a child's pose. 20 minutes of stretch, 10 minutes of a guided meditation towards the end. So we'll use up this 20 minutes to get some stretching in the body. So a couple more breaths here in your child's pose. And then on your next inhale, come out of that child's pose, walk the hands back towards the knees, and then let's swing the legs around, we'll come into a butterfly position. So soles of the feet together. Yes, maybe sit up on something, maybe a blanket, or you could always roll up your mat, sit up on something, and that just helps us get deeper into the stretch or support the body to make it a more comfortable place to be. So let's sit up tall here, inhale, and then exhale, we'll start to round forward. So allow that rounding in the back, allow the head to come forward. And we don't need to come to the fullest, deepest stretch right away. Take your time, we do have time here to settle in and ease our way in. And then we might start to let the head go a little bit, let the face, the jaw release. Noticing any tension throughout the hips or maybe the upper back, <clears throat> lower back. Just bringing some softness to those areas. We can do so by utilizing the breath, taking a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, we soften and release. I'll take just a few more breaths here.
On your next inhale, we'll slowly start to come out of that. Let the head come up last. Sit up tall for a moment. And then we'll take the hands to the outside of the knees, help those knees together. And we'll straighten our legs out in front of us. Taking it into a seated figure four. So cross this right ankle above the left knee right here. We could fold forward, maybe reach for that foot or bending the bottom leg in, hands come behind you and that sh right shin gets closer and closer towards the chest. So you could walk that bottom foot out a little bit, only come about halfway or start to work it in a little more, deepen the stretch in the outer hip. So there's lots of different levels we can work with. Keep sitting up tall, flexing right foot. And we'll take about five breaths. We won't be here super long. Five more breaths or so. Keep sitting up tall. That length in the spine is important. Even if you're folded forward there. Let's take one more inhale here. And exhale, we'll walk the bottom leg out. And then this right leg will just cross over, take it into a twist. So, or rather that foot. So crossing the foot over towards the left, we'll sit up tall, left arm reaches, and then we'll twist towards the right. Can wrap that left arm around the knee, maybe hook the elbow, right hand can come behind for support. And then again, find that length in the spine, sit up tall, and then maybe rotate a bit more into the twist. Eventually the gaze may come back over that back shoulder. Finding that ease, that softness here in this twist. We might find ourselves sometimes just like pushing that twist, pushing into that twist. Maybe take it out a little bit and soften, ease into it. We'll take a few more breaths here on this side. Beautiful, next inhale, we'll release. Unravel, come back to center, and we'll extend that right leg long. Feel free to give it a little shake or windshield wiper the legs. And then let's take it on that other side. So left ankle crosses for our figure four. We're starting there. You could fold forward there or bend the bottom leg in. Hands can come behind for support. Flex that left foot. Lift the heart up, up, up. So find some length and you'll really notice it in the stretch. The more you can bring that length in the spine. Few more breaths right here. And 
And we'll go ahead and release that figure four, cross the left foot over, coming into our twist, other side. So sit up tall, right arm reaches, find some length. And then exhale, twist, wrapping the arm or hooking the arm to the outside of that thigh. Keep sitting up tall. And then gently, again, that ease, easing into the twist, the stretch. Eventually bringing our gaze back, if that works for the neck. Couple more breaths right here. And then we'll go ahead and release, unravel, come back to center, straighten both legs forward, shake them out. And let's go ahead and come on to our back. We're gonna take it into a bridge position and then get, I think we're gonna have time to do the butterfly stretch. So on your back, bring those feet in, walk those heels in close towards the sit bones. Feet are apart. And then we might wiggle, bringing the shoulder blades together a bit under the body. When you're ready, we'll lift those hips up. So coming into this bridge, palms can be flat on the floor or interlace the fingers under the body. Lift those hips up, bring shoulder blades even closer together. And we'll take about three full breaths here. Opening hip flexor, belly, heart space. Perfect, one more inhale, lift the hips. As you exhale, we release the hands, take it down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. And then just pause there. Feet on the floor, lower back down. We'll take it into a banana stretch from here. So extend those legs out. And we'll walk the feet over to the right. Take those heels, both heels over to the right. You might cross the left uh, foot over the le uh, right, sorry, left foot over the right. There we go. So we're stretching our left side here. Arms can come out into a T, cactus shape or overhead reaching. And then we'll lift those shoulders up and over towards the right. So making the banana shape in the body. Adjust as you need, and then we find some stillness here. Settle in to this shape in the body. Have a left side opening. Stretching.
Let's take one more full breath in, full breath out. We'll make our way back to center, the shoulders, the legs. And then over to the other side. So walking those feet over to the left. Lift shoulders up and over towards the left. Arms come up however you'd like. Making the banana shape in the opposite direction in the body. So make any adjustments and find some stillness. Allowing the body to settle in. Couple more breaths right here on this side. And then as you're ready, no rush, we'll slowly start to make our way back to center, release the arms, legs come back to center. And let's hug the knees into the chest, one knee at a time, bring those knees in towards the chest, find a rocking side to side, massaging lower back. Maybe taking the knees wide, hugging the knees in towards the shoulders. Kind of like a half happy baby. Well, inhale here, hug those knees in. Exhale, really straighten those legs out. We'll make our way into our Shavasana position for our guided meditation. So we'll give us a few seconds here to get settled in. Maybe find a blanket to cover up with, maybe something under the head, maybe an eye pillow over the eyes. And I will sit up for this here, but please stay in a lying position for this yoga nidra. And if it isn't comfortable lying on your back, feel free to come onto your side or sitting up. 
but usually yoga nidra is done in this line position so that we can find complete stillness of the body. So resisting any movement from here on out. Letting the body settle in here in a shavasana or whatever position. And we'll scan the body starting with the face, the jaw, and just release any remaining tension. Let the back of the head be heavy, grounded into the floor. Relaxing the arms, hands, all ten, all five fingers on the right, all five fingers on the left. Relax. Allowing the back of the shoulders to be grounded heavy into the floor. Relax, relaxing the belly. All along the back, relax. Allowing the pelvis to be grounded into the floor, into the mat. Our legs relaxed, calves, ankles, feet, all five toes on the right, all five toes on the left, relax. Allowing this full body relaxation. Now bringing the sensation or visualizing. And your job here is to just listen to my voice, follow my instructions, just keep coming back to that listening of the voice when our mind wanders. So we're coming into the sensation of hot and cold, imagining ourselves on a cold, snowy winter day. How do we feel in that snow? You can see your breath. Or feeling that cold air. You can feel it as we breathe through, in through our nostrils. We can see it as we exhale the fog, the air out of our mouth. We almost we feel that chill, that cold. Now imagine yourself in a similar day, probably like today, depending where you are, the heat, the warmth of the sun. Noticing maybe a little um, a sweat from being so hot, but feeling that warmth throughout the body, that heat. That warming sensation makes you want to drink a nice tall glass of lemonade, extra ice. Take one more breath here. And start to really notice the breath here. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale out of the nose or out of the mouth. We'll start a breathing exercise where we count our breaths. So an inhale and an exhale equals one breath. We'll start at 20 and count down to one. So I'll start us off. Let's inhale here. 
Exhale. 20. Inhale. Exhale. 19. Inhale. Exhale. 18. Inhale. Exhale. 17. Go ahead and go at your own pace, counting your own breath, counting down to one. And if you find yourself losing your number, just start back at 20 and count back down with your own breath, with your own count. Notice where you are with your breathing, with your counting. No judgment. Just observe, notice. And we'll bring our attention into the body once again. Scanning the body, starting with the face. The back of the head, shoulders, the arms, the belly, the back, the pelvis, legs, the feet, toes, hands, fingers, arms, relax. Your yoga nidra is complete. So I encourage you to take a little time here, like an official shavasana, and just absorb our practice, the stretching as well as this guided meditation. And once it is time to move, moving very slow, Taking your time getting up, honoring this relaxation in the body. I'll go ahead and log us off here. Thank you for joining. Always an honor to guide you all. Have a wonderful evening. Namaste.